Hey everybody, this is going to be a uh, real short, low budget discussion about some movies that I've uh, watched here in the last couple days. Um, today we're going to first talk about a documentary I watched called They Shall Not Grow Old. Uh, it's a 2018 documentary series about World War I, directed by Peter Jackson. Um, I liked it a lot. It, it, um, it had a lot of... Uh, new techniques and stuff that he implemented. Uh, he took old footage and video from World War I and um, used uh, CGI technology and added sound effects and stuff from uh, battles and uh, period uh, guns and stuff and added to it and it uh, adds a real realistic uh, feel and adds commentary from soldiers that were really there and some of their accounts and stuff and um it really drags you into this story and um it's a really really good uh documentary about world war one which gets overlooked in my opinion um it, i i recommend uh people that like documentaries or war documentaries or anything like that to watch it it's really really good um it's out in theaters right now so um check that out Another movie I watched uh, was on Netflix. It's uh, Velvet Buzzsaw. It, uh, it's American, an American satirical supernatural horror. Um, stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Rene Russo, Tony Collette, and I guess Netflix is just throwing John Malkovich and everything at this point. He's uh, this and in Bird Box, he's kind of he's just there just to be John Malkovich to I don't know increase the um, star power of each movie he's just in. He's just kind of there. Um, he's not bad or, or anything, but he's just he's just John Malkovich. He's he doesn't add or take away anything. Um, it's it's a really good movie. Um, it's about uh, art. Um, critique and the real cynical world that that happens in and um, kind of uh, supernatural aspects happen with some paintings that turn up and um, it's kind of horror uh, based and stuff. It's it's really good. I, I liked it. Um, has uh, some uh, eccentric acting and stuff. Jake Gyllenhaal does a really, really good job. Uh, Tony Collette uh, straight out of uh, heredity does a great job. Uh, she's just like a really uh, unlikable person in this, but you, you, she's just doing a really good job. Um, I, I suggest you, uh, if if you're interested, uh, look it up on Netflix. It's really good. Um, just as a real quick um, mention, I watched this other show, uh, Russian Doll. It's on Netflix. Um, it's I liked it a lot. I think it's really, really good. And I'm hoping they continue it into a second season. But um, it, it kind of revolves around this girl who keeps dying and coming back. Kind of uh, Groundhog Day style. Um, it's created by uh, Amy Poehler of... Uh, 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 the... Uh, Parks and Recreation, uh, and Natasha Leone, uh, she's from uh, Orange is the New Black. She's um, a real uh, good actress in this. She's the main character, but she does a really good job in this, and the story's it's got twists and turns, and um, I really liked it. It's not very long, uh, but it, it does a really good job of, um, it's real interesting, and, you, and you're curious on where it's going, and um, it, it's, it's, it's a really good show. Um, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the second shift review shirt. If you're interested in these, um, maybe you can get one. Um, uh, just leave it down in the comments if you're interested in getting one. Um, we're, uh, still working on our editing problems and stuff. Um, but we're hopefully close to resolving that and, um, we'll, uh, We'll be uh, trying to get videos out as much as possible. Uh, they might be low budget like this. They might be uh, high budget ones. You never know. But we're going to try and get them out. So um, uh, we'll uh, see you next time.